Stop pretending Biden is some passive witness to Israel's warmongering. The more I think about it, the more obnoxious I find the Biden administration's gee whiz, I sure hope Israel doesn't drag us into a giant war in the Middle East posturing and the imperial media's facilitation of it. CNN has a new article out titled, As Iran Attacks Israel, Biden Confronts an Escalating Middle East Crisis He Had Hoped to Avoid, which is a genre of story that has been coming out in slightly different iterations again and again for the past six months. Every time Israel does something that makes things more dangerous in the Middle East, with the assistance of the United States, the American press fall all over themselves to inform the world that the president really doesn't want this to happen, and that his feelings are very upset about it. For President Joe Biden, an attack on Israel launched from Iranian soil amounts to a scenario he'd greatly sought to avoid since the start of the current Middle East conflict, writes CNN, saying the strikes heighten the risk of a wider regional conflict that could directly draw in the United States along with other countries. Israel will respond to Iran's attack, but the scope of that response has yet to be determined, CNN reports, citing an anonymous Israeli official. And it's just such an obscene insult to our intelligence to suggest that the Biden administration is just some passive witness to all this, sitting around wringing its hands, hoping Israel doesn't do something so horrible that the United States will have no choice but to leap into World War III in defense of its dear ally. It's insulting in that it asks us to believe the U.S. would have no choice but to enter into a war of unimaginable horror if Israel acts belligerently enough. And it's insulting in that it asks us to ignore the fact that Biden could have ended this insane cycle of escalation with one phone call to Israel at any time over the last six months. Being asked to accept that the Biden administration is just standing there hoping Israel doesn't ignite the worst war in Middle Eastern history is like seeing a dog owner letting their Rottweiler run around biting people all over the neighborhood and saying, yeah, he just does what he likes. I just hope he doesn't kill anybody. It's like, no, stop that. You're not just crossing your fingers and hoping Israel doesn't do something monstrous. You're letting them do what they want because that's what you're choosing to do. Israel's entire existence is as dependent on U.S. support as a scuba diver is on their oxygen tank. And as such, the White House has essentially limitless leverage it can make use of to make Israel do as it pleases. And it has done so in the past. Hell, it's done so during this very Gaza assault, successfully commanding Israel to stop cutting off Gazan telecommunications and to start letting more aid trucks into the enclave. If Biden truly didn't want Israel to be turning the Middle East into a hurricane of death and fire, he would stop it. He would put the damn dog on a leash. The Western press have a well-established track record of consistently framing U.S. wars as these traps that Washington just clumsily stumbles its way into, like there's some giant Macaulay Culkin-like deity sneaking around laying tripwires to force the Pentagon to regime change Libya or whatever. After a certain number of wars, you have to figure out that a regime is starting a bunch of wars because it's just a warmongering regime, though. And the U.S. has been involved in a whole, whole lot of wars. Nobody's that clumsy or that unlucky. It's like believing your husband when he tells you he keeps slipping and falling with his man parts inside the lady parts of various co-workers. The most powerful empire that has ever existed is not just passively sitting there praying that big bad Israel doesn't force it to go to war with Iran. That is not happening. All the violence and chaos that's happening in the Middle East right now is happening because the U.S. empire wants it to happen, and because the people who steer that empire are psychopathic ghouls. And don't let the crooked manipulators of the Western mass media tell you otherwise.